<laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. No, Liz, what do you think? Do we even need to make a Minnesota video? Minnesota's pretty safe. Oh my God, Darby, when was the last time you were home? Minnesota is a disaster. I mean, 95% of the counties in Minnesota don't have an abortion provider. What? Yeah. How is that possible? It's Minnesota got this great rating from like the Nielsen Company of Abortion, didn't they? What? Didn't okay. <laughs> First of all, there's no Nielsen Company of Abortion, although that would be sort of awesome. If you're talking about NARAL, they gave us a C plus, not that good. C plus? Yeah, C Why? plus. Why? Maybe because 95% of the counties in Minnesota have no abortion care. It should be a D. But more importantly, this other little known law that Minnesota is one of 31 states that allows a rapist to sue for custody. What? Yeah. Wait, so... Let me, let me get this straight. So if I get raped and my rapist goes to jail, my rapist gets convicted, and I'm like Minnesota nice enough to have the child <laughs> to deliver the baby, uh -huh. my rapist, after he hopefully gets out of jail, can sue me for custody or visitation of the child? Yeah, so basically for it's legal for the state to have a woman relive her rape over and over and over again. Every other weekend, two weeks in the summer, every, every time, other Christmas. Every time she has to buy a gift from the child for the rapist. Ugh. It is messed up. And I don't think anybody knows about it. Yeah, that sounds super awful. No. Hey, we're getting rid what of are Michelle. What are you saying to me? We're getting okay. rid of Michelle Bachman. That's oh. a huge victory for sane Minnesotans everywhere. Basically, when God closes a Bachman, he opens a Tom Emmer. Who's Tom Emmer? I had a feeling that was coming. So, Tom Emmer is the guy who's running for Michelle Bachman's seat, and he's basically this creepy talk radio guy who is the man version of Michelle Bachman. So it's sort of like... Bachman man? Yeah. Yeah. Superhero. Bachman, Bachman man. man! Yes, exactly. <laughs> Worst superhero <laughs> ever. Worst. Bachman Super man. Worst, Worst superhero <laughs> ever. Pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Oh, so people got to get out and vote. You're right. We have to make a video. We have to make a video, and Minnesotans need to get out and vote. You hope that if they we talk about this kind of stuff, that they will actually go, oh my god, I had no idea. I guess the midterms matter, because that's like my biggest thing. Yeah, because so there's no president being elected this time. No, no but a lot of douchebags might get elected. And all the laws happen at the state level. Yeah. All the abortion laws happen at the state that's level. That's exactly right. So you guys got to get out there and vote. Yes, they do. But you know what else they have to do? What? They have to come out and vote at the Minnesota State Fair, because we are rocking our seed art. Please yeah. meet your 2014 winner of the Minnesota oh, yes. State Fair oh, yes. Seed Art Competition, Liz Winstead, Darby Worley, for the win! Here is our entry, or at least for the hashtag winning. It is the only crop art uterus we believe that will be submitted for the State Fair, and we're probably too late, but we don't care because we worked hour on this. <laughs> it's crop art. We were thinking of actually carving a uterus out of butter, but it's thought, too hot in here. thought ill of that. Um, chickpeas and sesame no, seeds. No, there's no chickpeas. You no don't chickpeas. know what we're making. Okay. So, no. White beans, sea salt, which pink might be cheating. Pink sea salt. Pink sea salt. Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Um, uh, that shit that's in your teeth. Um, uh, poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. Yeah. And cannoli beans? Can what is that? Uh, anyway, anyway, beans. if anybody else made something like this, I hope that you will call us because we should be friends. Yes, go to ladyparchjustice.com and go, oh my god, I too made a uterus crop art entry and I believe that we should join forces. It is no joke. If you don't believe that a woman should have to relive her rape, if you think that there should be more access to abortion care in Minnesota, if you think it's scary that Michelle Bachman's being replaced with another Michelle Bachman, you know Al Franken only won by 300 votes. So Minnesota, we love you. We're in New York, but our spirit is there. Born and raised in Minnesota right here, Southwest High School, class of 79. Raised in Minnesota right here, Minnetonka High School, 1985. That's right. Join the fight at ladypartsjustice.com. Crop art and feminism. What more do you want, Minnesota? <laughs> I just a little postscript to our video. Uh, it turns out Darby and I had a little bit uh, too much uh, Pinot Grigio and didn't read the qualifications for entry of the crop art very carefully on the Minnesota State Fair website and we are now disqualified because our uterus beans were not locally sourced. So vote for someone else. Pains me to say. But still vote November 4th. We were gonna carve butter, but it's too fucking hot in my apartment. <laughs>
we were going to carve a uterus out of butter, but we thought better of it because butter's expensive. And so we decided to make crop art uterus. Butter lasts five seconds. Yeah. We don't have the, we don't have the refrigerated casing that spins around. You guys know what I'm talking about. The rest of the country doesn't know, but Minnesota knows. This message brought to you by LadyPartsJustice.com, kicking politicians out of vaginas since 2012.